Alright, uh, couldn't craft anything at the shop. I found these, uh, places to plant shit, so I planted a few things. Also, I just got into a fight and leveled up a little bit. So, they, all three of them got a new skill each. Ooh, what's this? Damn it. Anyway, uh... Ooh, there's another item. I can't climb over that. The main reason I came over here is because I can actually make something. I can make a pretty nice katana for Nanba, but I need materials. Sure is big. All this running around's wearing me out. Wow, so manly, Ichiban. Some real heroic words there. Hey, you can't just say that kind of stuff out loud. What? You can't stereotype stuff into manly or girly like that. People are sensitive to gender discrimination these days. They'll call you right out. Uh, you know, that sort of thing never really bothered me. But I guess if it's that big a deal, I'll try to choose my words more carefully. Wow, Kasuga. Absolutely pathetic. Just throw in the towel, you loser. How is that any better? <sighs> well, I'm at it. You got this man cooking? Oh, I gotta retake that last photo. I guess it didn't count because I didn't press A on it. I don't want this shit. I needed dirty iron. I'm actually gonna get a couple of that. What the hell? Let's race. Let's do a little race. I'm feeling it. Top speed. I think I'll just stick with the red one. Alright, let's race. We're gonna ace this. I already forgot the buttons. <laughs> All right. Get ready to eat dust. Real quick, uh, B is item, A is drift, X is switch items, Y is camera. All right. Yeah. Oh, I like this a lot better. I always like driving in games like this. Come on, you guys got to make this a little bit harder.
slap his ass. Easy, come on, that was so fucking easy. They didn't even shoot me once. And you guys are supposed to be champions. Oh my god, you guys gotta make this harder. Dragon cart. I'll honestly just sit down here right now and finish all these Grand Prix if I have to. Just smoke them. Hell, if it gets me a lot of money, I'd be fucking happy. Money's the one thing I need right now. how you do it so easy oh I uh, uh, it was over <laughs> shit <laughs> Fucking go! This should be the last race. Alright, now we're getting serious here. Now it's a race.
Oh shit. I love this mini game. Get smoked. Drink till you drop. Perfect guard. Royal guard. Man, I gotta play through DMC5 at some point. Hey, I like the way you drive. Hmm? You two are... Yeah. Ai-chan and Matsuko-chan, right? Aw, <laughs> oh, you remembered. How sweet. Does that mean you want to have some fun with us? Okay, then. Hope you like getting punished on the track. <laughs> Make no mistake, the Pegasus Cup is our hunting grounds, don't worry. The Rocket Girls treasure each and every one of their trophies. Perhaps we should mount you on our wall. Oh, Matsuko, stop teasing the poor lad. Guess we'll see you out there, stud. Now I'm up against the Rocket Girls. They seem pretty tough. Gotta be prepared if I want to take them out. Hmm? What do they say about mounting me? Watch out, Kasuga-san. The Rocket Girls are no pushovers. The only way you'll go past them is by sticking to the inside corners. I already do that. Thanks for the tip, Fujisawa-san. Man, you sure know a lot about racing. Put you on a cart, I bet you'd kick ass some out there. <laughs> ha ha ha, that's kind of you to say, but for the time being, watching is exciting enough. He's the champion, 100%. Sorry, my job as receptionist keeps me plenty occupied. Seeing fresh faces, enjoy the thrill of speed, striving to improve their time, making friends along the way. That's what keeps me at it day in and day out. I'll let you know, Kaskasan. I have high hopes for you. Wow. Really? Man, I don't know what to say. You're a really nice guy. Almost like a guy to the go-kart world. Of course, that's what I'm here for. Anything you want to know, please ask. I might end up talking your ear off, though. Yeah. Hey, I wouldn't mind. Next race! More race. How about a race. What can I get? Daytona! We got fucking Daytona. Also oh, manuals. Aw, oh, sweet. You could just straight up increase your job rank. Border break. High payout token. Pretty microphone. It's worse, though. I don't really need any of these. That being said, Sonic CD. Ah, it's not even a good song. That that being said, let's go away. If that's the Daytona, oh, I fucking love that. I'm actually gonna save up my rings. Pegasus Cup. Fuck it. Oh. Fuck it. I don't care. I wasted all of our money, but I'm at a fucking race. I'm sorry, guys. I wasted all our fucking money on my go kart.
tricky bounce. Get fucked. Is this easy mode? Ah, shit. Oh, shit. Alright, getting used to that's gonna take some getting used to. I should, have, I should have drifted sooner. I missed the speed boost. Shit. They're catching up to me. It's always the worst when they can catch up right at the end and fuck you over. some tight turns on this one. I was tempted, but the speed boost is way more important.
And they really stick in your tires, don't they? Man, I didn't think it'd be this easy to win the races. I bet I could have done it without fucking using all the money I had. I really regret it now. Oh shit. Shit, dude. Last race. No. Get ready to eat dust. Oh yeah. Slow down, Turbo. All right, this is where it's going to get difficult. Yeah! Dragon Chart Champion! Get fucked! Get fucked! Get fucked! Fucking easy. Old Granny didn't even make it in the fucking third place. My passion is growing. Well, I'm out of money again. Who's this guy? <laughs> that was quite the performance, Ichiban Kasuga. Stunning, I'll admit. Hmm? Hey, aren't you that traitor guy, Suguru? One of the Drift Musketeers? Hey. I'm impressed you know that much. In my world, information is the ultimate resource. As such, I've gathered enough data on you to predict your every move. 
<laughs> Factor in some course analysis and I'd say your driving pattern memorized. You do, huh? Oh yes, whether it's work, romance, racing, or simply checking the weather, there's nothing that data can't solve. Though it's up to you to put your data together in a meaningful way. Without an analytical mind, you'll be looking at numbers and figures with no idea what to do next. This man has no puss in his life. But I think I've said my piece. I'll be waiting for you in the Phoenix Cup. <laughs> Even though I already know the outcome. Do all the analysis you want, that still won't help you in the heat of the moment. And I'm gonna take the Phoenix Cup to prove it. Alright, I don't think I, I don't think these races earn me any money, and I'm pretty broke, so I'm gonna stop. I think I spent my last yen on that anyway. I think my shit should be grown by now. Fucking streaker guys back. Damn it. Tomato. Care bulb. Come on here, you horny bastard. You're getting your ass whooped. believe with a wooden sword. At least got me some money. Alright, uh, let's do this uh, hero quest over here real quick, then we'll go do that side quest. Because this hero quest could get us some good money real fast. Ah, uh, shit. Is it literally just that this guy's out of toilet paper? You didn't have to follow me in stalls. here. I mean, it is the men's room. Nothing worse than when all the stalls are taken up and you're standing there about to piss or shit yourself. Feels like an eternity sometimes. The first guy to open up a stall is basically a messiah. Never would have taken you for the religious type. Uh, yeah, I think we need toilet paper or like, I think at least like tissue paper to help that guy. Talk to the child. A pro gamer, not in your life. Gamers, we don't get respect in this world. Hmm? Here's a good way to get money. Hmm? Ten thousand yen. Oh my god. What's uh, what's uh, what's uh, what's uh, what's uh, what? What's going on over here? <laughs> Newbie, we'd like to have a word with you. Ah, uh, you want a rival race, huh? Since you got beat. Oh, that's us. And hey, 
that run you had in the Cerberus Cup. I'll admit, you did good. Yeah, because I beat you. Two-headed bomb, can't just let loss be a loss. Our prize at stake here. Give us another challenge. I promise we won't lose. Oh, right, so you want a revenge match, huh? I don't mind. But what makes you think this time will be any different? <laughs> We've been training hard and improving every day. What more do you need to hear? Fair enough. I'll take you on. Just don't crap out in the middle of the track, okay? Yeah. Let's do this. Finna smoke him. Oh, it's all foggy. That's actually interesting. It's all foggy, so you gotta rely on your memory of the track. This, all right, now this makes it interesting, this fog. Too bad I'm too good. Damn right you are. Oh shit. Cheese him with the fucking space laser. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, that turn always gets me. Man, you guys almost made that hard. Almost. Hopefully they actually make it worth my while and give me something besides just the rings. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! You like that? Ugh, back. Possible. Our attacks did nothing. Well, figured I'd last at least a lot was enough. Ah, 
I figured last time was nothing but beginner's luck, but it turned out it really, really got skills. You're good. <laughs> Better get back to practice then. Let's take it from the top. I'm done calling you a rookie. From now on, we're race rivals. Sounds good. I won't lose next time either. Guess they were serious enough to ask for a revenge match. Looks like I can't be too lax about this. <laughs> that gives me a small data I need. Look forward to our race, Ichiban Kasuga. Yeah, whatever, you suck. Rumble Crasher car is now available. Alright, so I unlocked their car then. I'm not gonna use it, but I got something. It's hoping for money. Oh well. I need money anyway, because I got the material I needed, but I spent all my money on the go-kart. We're not racing again. I need money, scuba man. Post your egghead. Pocket sand! Oh, I know. Get him, Nancy Chan! Nasty Chad, Crustacean Damnation! Plague of Pincers! Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it poisoned him. Interesting to see the attacks don't change with the job class. Guy's tough. Take your Naba shit is not going to work out. Best shot. Watch 
Heroes Vigor. Fuck off. He wasn't even worth that. I guess he had a ton of XP, but fuck, he didn't have a lot of money. That's what I really need. Oh shit, they get reduced XP if they're down, but at least they get something. Moving up in the world. Nice. Damn, that fucked us up. Oh, but we all level. They all leveled up, so they got their shit back. Flowers. Uh, fuck. No. No. I need... Oh, I got everything I need for it. In that case... I should start, uh clicking on every taxi I find and that I think that unlocks the fast travel spot for it I think that's the only thing that's slowing me down now all right let's get now by that sword we have to find a shield for uh, a dachi I don't know where to get one because I can't craft one over here Can we talk for a sec yep sure what's up I got the passion for this now. I wonder if it means I could start dating her or some shit. Say, so you're a fan of bonsai, right? <laughs> totally. I love all the neat little details about them. You into them too? I bet she'd be super happy if I got her a bonsai. But I don't have any bonsai on me. You get the barkeep to make it or I look for a shop that sells it. We should shoot the shit more often, Kasuka-san. Craft the weapon. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. Red hot blade. it up to 42. The flaming lumber is still just straight up better though. But I like the hero's bat. I'm gonna keep upgrading that. I'll just put it on the back burner. Definitely need to get that flaming lumber though.
Alright, let's go to the fucking uh, train station then. Wait a minute. I should equip it. Foods. Let's go to Love Magic and see if they have any shields for sale. I feel like they might have had one. That sword is awesome. Yeah, no sword, no shield weapons. Maybe that was not the right class to pick for him. It looked good though. I bet that's the place that isn't selling anything at the moment. Ah. Uh. I forgot I actually really need to go stop by the survive bar. We'll do that before we start any missions. Oh, since we're over here, let's see what kind of costumes I have. Oh, you can date her too. That's cute. Queen crew. Yakuza Zero. Fucking Kazuma, Kiryu, and Majima. <laughs> oh, I'm. <laughs> Fuck it, let's do it. That's my fucking outfit. Uh, I'm tempted to change him back to detective. Here you are. Take your time. What do you think? <sighs> we'll keep him as an enforcer. I'll be rooting for you.
We'll find a weapon, I'm sure. I swear I saw one being sold somewhere, but I can't remember where. I'm not sure what episode it was in either. I really need to find more of these taxis. piles up detracts all the crows uh don't hate the crows they're just trying to get by you know in fact crows are pretty smart they've even been known to stop rummaging through trash if they see they're being watched huh interesting if i didn't know any better i'd say you have a soft spot for them well what can i say we're birds of a feather when it comes to digging through the trash <laughs> guess everyone has a flock Let's go. I look ridiculous. I love it. So whatever this is, I don't think I can access it yet. Looks like a cookie shop. I can't go that way. Items? Items? No? Okay. It's been a while since we found any items. This is a nice looking street. I like this like tile. It's cool looking. We got a problem over here, punk. Ooh, good. Time to clean up. Good money. Yeah. That fucking shit. I wasn't expecting the counter hit.
Thank you. With finesse. Here comes the money. someone who looks like this. Oh, it's a dodgy son. Oh. Well, give me a break. Kinda. I'm a little more put together than that. Actually, don't you think it looks a little too divine to be a dachi san Now that you mention it, yeah. Sorry, a dachi san Guess it's not you at all. I'm about to lose it with you two. Those are still growing? Damn, they take a while. Let's do some good old hanging around with the boys. Can I craft anything with you? Welcome. Uh, nope. I need nine pine trees to get a bonsai. Nice. While I'm here. Let's go ahead and pop a squat. Let's chat. Unblinking eyes. Yo, Sachan. You drinking by yourself? Yeah. Isn't it pathetic? Sit down and help me save what's left of my pride. Everything all right? Well, you could say some stuff's happened. Oh, okay. I get it. Uh, it's about the club, huh? Was there trouble over at the club you run? <laughs> Didn't I tell you I taught the girls how to run the place? Trouble's non-existent over there. Well, I know. But with Nonomiya song gone, you're steering this boat all by yourself. It must be hard. I know for me it would be. That's very perceptive of you. It's true there's been some small issues here and there, but I've been handling them just fine. That's not what's bothering me. Then what is? It's my sister, Nanoha. What's going on with her? Has something happened? Remind me, how much did I tell you about my family while we were drinking the other night? You said you were too controlling when it came to Nanoha and your dad. Eventually there was a big fight and we left home. That was seven or eight years ago. And did I tell you the reason for that fight? Yeah, it was because you told Nanoha to break up with some chump. The boyfriend with the consulting firm? Okay, so I spilled all the beans. <laughs> anyway, his name's caught Suragawa, and apparently they're still together. Damn. Longer relationship than I've ever been in. If he wasn't so damn annoying, I might let this go. But Katsuragawa's a criminal. He's even been seen going in and out of Seiryu Clan HQ. Not to mention, he's dangerous and walks around with his own personal posse. He used to run with a biker gang. I mean, I've heard nothing but bad rumors about him since I left home. <laughs> no, I really knows how to pick him, huh? Shut up. I've got some girls from the club looking into him right now. I hope they can find out more. Trying really hard not to worry here since I can't do anything but wait. Ah, uh, so that's why you're drinking away your troubles in here. Yeah, well. <laughs> now that I've talked to you about it, I feel a bit better. Maybe I'll skip the next round. Oh, let's not start talking crazy now. <laughs> Level two. What's going on with the dachi? Yo, a dachi san. Hey, Kasaga, let's have a drink. On me today, huh? On you? You win the lottery or something? Nah, 
I'm just feeling good because for once, I've got some money left over after sending Takashi his allowance, so... <clears throat> Bartender, give me something dirt cheap and kerosene strong. Roger's son has been sending money to Takashi Kun every month. Poor kid's the son of that Kasumi guy. Yeah, yeah, we know this. I'm glad you were able to get some money to Takashi Kun. Same here. And look what I got today. It's a letter from Takashi. <laughs> I always look forward to these. Good shit. Did you read it already? Nope, I was just about to open it. Let's, uh, hope it says something about him passing the bar, huh? Well, <laughs> let's see what it says. 100. Dear Yamada-san, thank you so much for sending money again this month. <laughs> what, what's, what's with the laugh? <laughs> that name, Yamada-san. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it now. The kid knows me as a rich fucker named Yamada. Anyway, let me keep reading. I've been pretty busy with this year's bar on the horizon. Ooh, so bar exams are coming up, huh? Yeah, I'm counting on him to pass this year. My wallet a break. What else did he say? I know it's sudden, Yamada-san, but I have a favor to ask you. The other day when I was riding my bike, I accidentally scraped the bumper of a parked car. Apparently it was a really expensive car, and now the owner is demanding a million yen to cover the repair. I don't have that kind of money, not even close. Yamada-san, do you think I might be able to borrow it from you? I'll promise to pay you back after I become a lawyer. Holy shit. One million to fix a bumper? Well, how, how am I supposed to come up with that? And what does Takashi get off asking for such a huge favor? You say that, but doesn't Takashi-kun think you're some rich philanthropist? Yeah, you're yeah, probably the only yeah, person yeah, he knows to true, turn to with something like this. What's the real me supposed to do now? I can lend you some cash. Well, how about I lend you some money? Hey, that'd be great. How much can you lend me? Uh, I can scrape up about 30,000. Uh, okay. Then that leaves 970,000. I uh, <laughs> appreciate the kindness, but it doesn't exactly solve the issue. So, I need one million yen. Shit. Where do I even start? Wait, hold on. What's up? We were both surprised about the cost. A million is just way too much for a simple bumper fix. Hell yeah. I mean, you can buy a whole car for that much. Cheap one, but still. I'd say there's a pretty good chance this is a scam. A scam? Yeah. Some con man probably parked his car in a road that was too narrow, then waited for some poor sucker to come by and scrape the car. Once that happens, the con man throws a fit and guilt trips the victim into paying. Damn. You know, you might be right. As fucked up as that is. And it wouldn't surprise me if Takashi fell for it. He studies so much, he probably doesn't know much about the real world. And most likely, he knows jack shit about cars as well. So how about this? You meet up with the owner of the car in person. Say you want to settle out of court. Yeah. If we catch him in a lie, mm, we give him what he deserves. This guy will be sorry he ever saw Takashi. <laughs> I like the way you think, Kasuga. Glad I read you that letter. Happy to help. I'll write Takashi back and ask for the car owner's contact info. Yeah, we'll see what's what. Man, I really thought I was in a tight spot for a minute there. <laughs> well, we're not out of the woods just yet. You think I'm celebrating too early? There's some high-end, classier shit cars out there on the road. I mean, limited edition luxury sports cars go for hundreds of millions. And if Takashi-kun really did scrape a car, and it was one of those, then I don't doubt the repair would cost a million. Yeah. Nobody's gonna be driving those cars in this the neighborhood. When was the last time you saw a luxury car around here? It's gotta be a scam. No doubt about it. I'm just saying, don't get ahead of yourself. Ahead of myself? I'm just trying to stay positive. Now, how about we drown those worries of yours with a drink? Bartender, pour us a couple tall ones. Put it on my tab. Hoping this goes well, but I can't help feeling like something's off. Nanba-san. Our favorite. Our boy Nanba. Oh. 
Oh yeah. Cheap invitation, but it's only a matter of time before he gets busted. Hey, Namba. Anything gone down yet with that legend bolt? Well, I've been watching the counter like a hawk. But the bartender wasn't kidding when he said nobody comes here. Yeah, he did say this was more of a hobby for him. That's exactly it. The only people coming in are our friends like Adachi and Sacha. Which means that legend malt is probably just gonna sit behind the counter for the rest of our lives. I was worried over nothing. I feel better already. Well, I don't know if you should be that relaxed about it. It's not like he'd carry something he was never gonna sell. Oh, shit. Welcome. Hmm. What a lovely little establishment you have. Your first time in, sir? It is. See? He does get actual customers. First time I've seen a first-timer. I've heard some rumors about this place from some good sources. Oh, uh, no. Rumors about what? That you carry the fabled whiskey known as the Legend Mold. Ah. Uh, well... Then the rumors are true. Pour me a glass, then, bartender. If anyone can appreciate such a thing, it's me. This can go two ways, and I'm oh, hoping no. it goes the what other. Can we, do? we gotta apologize before it's too late. But I'm too broke to apologize. Forget about the money. You'll be in even deeper shit if he drinks that. I really must apologize, but my legend malt isn't for sale. Why would that be? Is it reserved for your regulars? Not exactly. I just don't think you're fit to order it. Excuse potion, Seta. I need your strongest potions. He's from Good Dandy? No way. What the hell is that? It's a rich man's magazine full of nice cars and swanky restaurants. Well, that's terribly unfortunate. For you. If you had even a modicum of customer service, I'd have written you an absolutely dazzling review. Put me in your magazine or don't. That's your call to make. Believe you me, I'll be giving you the front page. Everyone's going to know about the snob running this backwater hole. This your idea of a quarrel, sir? Perhaps, but was it not you who flung the first stone? Fine. You back me into a corner here. The legend malt on that shelf is something I ordered for a very special customer. I don't intend to offer it to anyone but her. Oof. And what makes her so special? The fact that she stole my heart. That bottle was to be a symbol of my affection. Time and time again, she would tell me how she dreamt of being able to try it. So I took it upon myself to indulge her and waited for her to arrive. But for as long as I waited, she never came through the door. Six months went by. Then a year. Until I finally got word that she had been in a car accident. She was taken from me. In some ways, that legend malt is the only thing I have left of her. Oof. Oh. Given that, are you still going to insist I pour it? I have walked through the doors of many a bar in my time, but I've never met a bartender with a tail like that. That quiet strength, the very essence of good dandy magazine. He didn't even get to take a whiff of the bottle. And now he never will. I guess that settles it. Yeah, but now it's even bigger than we thought. We gotta do the honest thing and come clean. Why? Didn't you hear that story? The legend malts a treasure of his lost love. Ugh, I know, but I'll never be able to replace it on pocket change. I'll help you pay off your debt. Well. If you can't do it alone, now help out. You serious, Ichiban? Yeah. All I've been doing till now is help you find ways to dodge the problem. What I should have done is help you do the right thing. Meaning, I'm just as guilty. 
We're in this together, man. Ichiban, you're a great guy, you know that? But I can't take advantage of you like that, man. I've got to come up with that money somehow. Ha! <laughs> what a jackass. He swallowed that story hook, line, and sinker. Come again? That long-lost love of mine? She never even existed. Then why wouldn't you pour in the legend malt? And back when I opened the place, I figured I'd need some high-end stuff behind the counter to draw in the big spenders. So I picked up an empty bottle of legend malt and filled it with bargain barrel of whiskey. Purely for show. I, I knew it. Orders anything that expensive. But every once in a while, a dimwit like him wants his in. So I give them the same old sob story and they scatter like roaches. Wait, so Namba, that means what you drank was bottom shelf swill. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Hey, what the hell's so funny? You gotta hear this. Guess what Namba did? Come on, don't say it. Don't you dare. Uh, sir, you can ignore this, Joker. <laughs> I don't understand you people. I guess it was the look of that bottle that got me thinking it was real. That ever happened to you? Or the taste is all in your head? Hey, <laughs> just be grateful you don't have to worry anymore. I still have to worry about people finding out. Ichiban, you wouldn't tell Adachi or Sachan about this, would you? You can't. Don't worry, man. I wouldn't rat you out like that. So, you'll keep it a secret? Yeah. Well, you have to buy me a drink. Bargain barrel whiskey, okay? Sure, it's a deal. All's well that ends well. Hey, you can be a chef now. All right, this is a good place to end for the day. Make sure I save properly. See y'all next time.